Hey, Jim. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, hey, hey, hey. What's going on? What's going it's been on? like a minute. I don't know. We, we haven't so, been standing here waiting for a video or anything like that. Right? Um, hey, hey. I just read about... Uh, so last year, the, the 13-year-old yeah. Isidara Cask was in Miss Gavigan's top 20. Yeah, it was. Which is a big deal. That, that was a good night, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll bet. I, I, I agree with that. For people who don't know, what is Mitsunara and wh why should they care? Okay, brilliant. I love that. So we've been down this sort of rabbit hole trying to make remarkably different Irish What's whiskeys smoking? and looking historically at different styles like single grain whiskey, which is our double barrel, looking at these like single malts and looking at different drinking cultures with that porter cask aging. And sort of led us to um, increasingly look at different breeds of oak around the world. So we went over to Hokkaido to learn more about Mizunara. And Mizunara is this breed of oak that only grows in uh, the Northern Island of Japan. The trees take between 300 and 500 years to grow. The wood itself is extremely soft, extremely porous, prone to leaking, prone to cracking, high percentage of vanillins, high percentage of mojo. I can geek on forever. But you can actually indent the wood with your fingernail, that's how soft it is. And no one should ever make a cast from it, ever. It's nearly impossible to. So it's a weird quirk in time that after the Second World War, the Japanese whiskey industry, they couldn't get this breed of oak. So they started to, uh, they couldn't get bourbon casks rather. So they started to chop down their own indigenous trees and started to work with this and became really skillful. But they have like a word, they call it like, almost like, a, they say it's a kara influence, is what the Japanese wood, what, what that actually influences on the whiskey. So it's like this bright mango and pineapple and sort of coconut and almond and these really sort of intense and unique flavors. And we, we, we really wanted to put a stamp that type of stamp on the historic style, which is the Irish single malt, which is originally what Irish whiskey was known for. So that's really what we wanted to do. Okay. Does that make any sense at all? Yeah, that makes that? perfect sense. I, I had no idea. Hello, camera. Sense. By the way, I, I'm sorry, I, I'm, I'm off. No, 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 that's great. Um, I actually didn't know it was so soft. That's it. Oh, yeah, it's ridiculous. So they actually does, see. Does it leak all over? But the, they it, have it, these it, like it, weird, like, like ferns, like leaf soft ferns almost. Okay. That they seal the casks with. Okay. Um, but like, you know, if you're if you're averaging like 7%, uh, that you're actually going to lose angel share. I believe it's between 9 and 11 okay. with Mizunara. So, so it's a lot more seepage. open. I like, like, yeah, the, the water itself is a lot more open and it, there's an intensity of flavor to it that it adds. Uh, we're actually the first people to ever age Irish whiskey in Mizunara Oak. So we went over there, we met them and everything like that. So to what they actually write in our casks is not like Glendalough Distillery or Glendalock Ireland or Glendalock Irish whiskey. It's just Ireland. <laughs> so so what, we write, what we write on this, even though we say it in English, we say Mizunara just in like the Japanese calligraphy on the front yeah, and you yeah. think it's going to be like this big, you know, big impactful statement. Just missing our. <laughs>